I'm going to show you how I paint the clouds on this Richmond Canal walk painting. Um, this canvas is so large that the whole thing shakes no matter how I lock it in. Um, but I'm starting off with a mixture of cerulean blue and white. And because a thin paint will stick to a thick paint, I'm going to slowly thin this paint out as I begin to add in white. Now, I'm just right, right now I have a mixture of cerulean blue and white. I'm just covering this section up here. Right now I just need to get the entire sky in as quickly as possible. And it's a very thin layer of cerulean blue and white. I'm going to come back later on with the bridge, but I'm going to take you through the entire painting. Not, not every single section, but just sections that are pretty, probably large. I'm kind of figuring it out as I'm going along on what I'm going to break down and what I'm not. A lot of times when you're palette knife painting, what I have figured out is that you're just putting in sections in the sense that you are just putting in what looks like a line. And, and I'll explain that a little bit later on. For example, with buildings. Uh, buildings, sometimes there's just a little pat of a color with your palette knife. So, kind of got all that. And as you can see, it's kind of streaky, but that's okay because my sky is kind of um, streaky in this. Um, I've got a lot of clouds that are going to be up here. All right. So I've, I've placed all that in, and now I'm going to begin to blend in the clouds. And you can't see it down here. I, I don't have a lot of room to work with. Because this is wet, it will blend in with this blue very nicely. And so somewhere up here, shit, there we go. And as I put the clouds in, I want the top portion of the cloud, this section up here, that kind of like big part that you see of a cloud, the puffy part, I want that to be the brightest part. And come in here, and there we go. It doesn't look like much has changed. Now, yes, I know it looks like a lot has changed, but this really doesn't look like a cloud right now. It just looks like I didn't know what the hell that I was doing. <clears throat> There's the top of that cloud up here. And then as I come down, I'm just lightly, I'm not, I'm not doing that. I don't wanna, I don't wanna scrape it off. I'm lightly doing that right there. And as I get to the base of the cloud of where it will be, where another cloud will form on top, I want that to blend into the blue. And the way that I'm blending this is just lightly fading it just like that and I'll probably work my way back up and work my way back down and it may take several layers to get this right but I want to do this while it is wet once it's dry I can leave kind of like um I don't know what it would the technical term it's kind of like a hill and a valley in, in a sense um, but when I show the rest of the painting as I'm going along, all of this will be completely finished. But when I do a palette knife painting, I use very little brushwork. And I'm going 
going to move ahead. And to thin this down, I'm using a very, very light touch of liquid. That'll allow it to stick to that thicker paint. And here we go. It's right there. <coughs> Excuse me. These clouds are kind of choppy, so. very limited amount of time of what I can post. I'm running out of memory on my <clears throat> phone, so I'm having to post on YouTube or Instagram or whatever, and then I have to delete the video, so. And because these, <clears throat> this bridge is in front of, of the clouds, I can actually come over top and it really doesn't, it's no big deal right now. Just like that now. Take this and very lightly kind of blend this down. The more the more I pat this, just kind of like slightly dragging it like that, the more it'll blend in. Canvas is, I think, 50 inches by 40 inches. So it's one of my largest canvas uh, commissions to date for corporate commissions. So. A lot of times when you're painting with your palette knife, you know, try to zoom in. If you're not careful, I don't know if it's going to show up. While you're painting, if you pull it up, you get this kind of like a, looks kind of like veiny. You don't want that. You want this to kind of lightly. Yeah. This is the whole, sorry for the jerkiness. This is the whole uh, painting thus far. And like I said, I'm going to turn this off in a minute. I'm going to continue to do that. And I'm going to do all of the, the sky this evening. So, But that's how I uh, do cloud. Just a little bit of pat and a blend. Pat and a blend. And I use a variety of sizes of, of palette knives. <clears throat>